Flood Safe is the complete guide showing homeowners how to keep your home safe from future floodwaters. It shows you how to keep water out, rebuild with water resistant materials, or even raise your house to prevent future flood damage. Flood Safe is a complete book. It shows homeowners how to prepare for hurricanes and storms, how to keep floodwaters out of your house. If floodwaters ever get into the home, it shows you how to protect your contents. The author's house flooded three times over the course of 24 years. It flooded from the nor'easter of 1992, from Hurricane Irene, and again from Hurricane Sandy. Sandy put almost five and a half feet of water into the house, uh, flooding two layers or two levels of the floor, and damaging much of the interior contents as well as a good amount of the, of the structure. After Sandy, the author made the ultimate decision that he just didn't want to have to deal with any future floods. He didn't want to have to pump out water, or deal with mold, or, or rebuild the home again. He wanted to mitigate and raise his house above the level of any future storm. The author didn't want to just raise his house. He wanted the finished product not to look out of place in the community. He came up with a design that allowed him to raise the house six feet and still not look out of place. This illustration shows the, the graphic artist's conception and then this photo shows the finished product after the house had been raised. We started by hiring Brownie Company, a very experienced lifting company, fourth generation. They came to the home and they chiseled holes through our existing foundation walls installed steel I-beams through those holes and through many of the room's interior. Those steel I-beams were supported on wooden cribs uh, built with wood six by sixes. Those also housed Brownie Company's uh, unified jack system. A total of 16 jacks were used during this project. After the house was cut free from the foundation, they actually started to uh, apply pressure to those jacks. The house just started to lift off of the original foundation. The whole process was very interesting. They raised the house about 12 inches at a time, and each time they raised it, they add additional uh, layers to the cribs that supported the house. Now, we had to raise our house six feet, but Brownie actually raised the house a total of 10 feet, which allowed them to get a bobcat underneath the dwelling to install helical piles used to reinforce the foundation on the soft soil found in the area. Once the helicals were in place, we poured a new foundation on top of the existing foundation. Once this concrete was Brownie came back and they lowered the house back down onto this new elevated foundation. Many of the interior rooms had to be rebuilt. We filled the front crawl space with dirt. And we also added smart vents, which would allow any future floodwaters that entered the crawl space to flow freely out. Many of the interior rooms had to be completely rebuilt. These images show our back room during various stages of reconstruction. We hid some of the raised foundation behind stone and the rest behind vinyl siding. With the end result being a home that was flood safe, yet still didn't look out of place in the community. For additional information on keeping your home flood safe, refer to the book Flood Safe by Kay Ann Berg, available on Amazon.com.